We are now joined by our Capitol Hill correspondent Williams Ekenem with some breaking news out of the Congress. Uh, William, what is happening on the Hill? Hello, Aaron. The Capitol Hill is, as you say, uh, very normal, except that just a while ago, former congressman Anthony Werner stepped up and announced his resignation far over there in New York. Uh, that's quite a surprise. Only a few hours ago, he was quoted as saying he would not uh, bow down to pressure from those calling him to resign. Was the pressure eventually too much for him to handle? Yes, I agree with you, Aaron. He must have been quite under some pressure, pressure from the party, the Democratic Party, especially the, the uh, kingpins in the party. You will remember when... Um, the Democratic leader in the House, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, initially said he would have to go uh, face a, a panel. Then from there, shortly after that, she now specifically said when I should go. And as if that was not enough, U.S. President Barack Obama added the, just two days ago that if it were to be him, he would have since gone. And I want to say, Aaron, that this statement was really the bone breaker. And uh, he will have since resigned with land, but uh, he was said to be waiting for his wife, who was in a trip with the U.S. Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, down there in Africa. And they came back with land on Tuesday, and barely 24 hours after they arrived, he has indeed announced his resignation. Well, William, already the Democrats in the House are short in numbers compared to the Republicans, and now another subtraction to that number. Do you think his resignation is a further blow to Democrats, especially when it comes to passing crucial motions? Yes, Aaron, they show a gap in the Democratic uh, number now in the Congress because in ab initio they were uh, lower than the in number than the Republicans and the number still goes down even with his resignation. So how is going to how the Democratic Party is going to re, uh, replace him is I uh, think the next uh, battle now. But uh, we gathered here from uh, the Congress here that uh, the district in which he represents is predominantly a Democratic district. But you know things of this nature are either here nor there because in politics in elections anything can happen. So what's next for Wina? Is this the end of his political career or uh, you think he might uh, bounce back? Yeah, the future of Wena is something we cannot really say for now because uh, this story is still developing. Uh, it has been a distraction in the house in the last two weeks. And uh, as we speak, he has just announced his resignation. The way forward from there is what we're going to see as the story develops. Thank you so much. Williams Ekanem, Mark TV News. Thank you so much. That was our Capitol Hill senior correspondent, uh, Williams Ekanem, with that breaking news of the resignation of Congressman Anthony Weiner.